What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Travis, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so we finally captured Mewtwo, and uh, now we got a few extra stuff that we kind of want to cover here in this walkthrough before we call it a game. Yeah. We're going to be battling a, bu a bunch of gym leaders. Yeah. Again. Don't worry. We got this covered. Don't worry. We got a team with a team and somewhat of another team, or I don't even know. But yes, guys, in this episode, we will be battling or re uh, doing a gym leader rematches. It's one of the things that you can actually do here after you defeat the uh, Elite Four and capture Mewtwo. Uh, another thing, too... Mm, yeah, this is kind of like, you know, a way for you to get extra money, too, if you have been cover or if you have been capturing a buttload of Pokemon to, you know, power up your main team. Off-screen, what I did right here was, I... Yeah, I did some work. I did a lot of work. As you can see, most of my Pokemon right here are in the level 70s, and I'm just getting re getting them ready to battle the Master Trainers. Now, in the last episode, I was a little bit misinformed. I may have said five trainers. You actually have to beat six trainers in order to open up a little something-something when it comes to the final, or to a, big, well, to a big battle and all that stuff, which we will cover eventually. Now, I will be using different types of Pokemon uh, for the Master Trainer battles. Uh, as you can see, I do have an extra team right here that, you know, I actually had in my first run right here in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Got Ultra Psycho, Tank, Godzilla, Thrasher, Hydra. Of course, we don't have Aaliyah, the original Aaliyah, but this Aaliyah could do too. What I'm going to try and do is I'm actually going to try and battle three Master Trainers from my original team right here and then three from the team that I went on my first run. I'm looking at Hydra, Godzilla, and Ultra Psycho to take this, uh to take these battles. Now, for my original team, of course, it's going to be a Sparky. Then I'm going to be using quite possibly Sandslash and maybe just maybe Mew, Mew De Uno, depending on what, what goes on right here. So, that will be in the, that will be for the next few episodes and all that stuff, but in the meantime, we're going to be battling right here. We're going to try and get some more money because we need to capture some more Pokemon. We need to, you know, gain some levels and all that stuff. So, our first stop is going to be right here in Pewter City. If you guys remember, we defeated uh, Brock with a Bulbasaur, I think. Yeah, it was a... I don't think it was our Bulbasaur or anything like that. So, what I'm going to do right here is I'm actually going to switch out my party. I'm going to just use three Pokemon, maybe. Maybe even four. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go right ahead and take out Smasher. And you know what? Sand Slash can wait for another episode right here. And Mew De Uno can be can wait too. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm actually gonna incorporate both Thrasher right here. And let's see, who else? Of course Hydra has to come into this whole thing. And well, let's see. You know what? Let's just put let's just put Dubasaur just for shits and gills right here. Okay, so let's see, who is going to start off this whole battle? Let's go right ahead and switch it out. Let's go straight for Hydra. Yeah, it's been a while since I've actually battled with this guy, so let's go right ahead and battle or rebattle uh, Brock. So as you can see, here we are in the Pewter City Gym. Has this guy remembered me? Just as I thought, you're a Pokemon champ material. Okay, so that was the thing that he tells us afterwards. So let's go right ahead and rebattle uh, Brock right here. Let's see what he has to say now. You sure look different from the, uh, when we first met. I have, a I have a request for you. Since you're now the Pokemon League champion, the truth is gym leaders have the right to challenge the champion. Please allow me the privilege of facing you in a battle once again. Allow me to show you my true rock hard strength of my Pokemon. Bring it! Okay, so here we go, guys. A rematch against gym leader Brock, and as you can see, he does have five Pokemon right here. So, we're going to make a... Uh, Quick work of this guy right here. Look at this. He's coming out with his uh, patented Onyx. We beat him with a with a what you call it, a Bulbasaur right here. So Battle of the Snakes. They're at level 56, but no worries. I got some Pokemon moves that can actually beat these guys. We're gonna try and make it a little challenging for us, as you can see. Onyx gets his butt kicked real quickly. Oh yes. Oh yeah, and we're getting experience points just like that. And he's gonna be coming out with Golem. So let's share the wealth. Let's go down the line right here. Let's go with Dragonite. I don't think Dragonite has a, has a move right here that can actually beat Golem. I don't know. Or am I just cheating for myself? I, I just don't know. So here he comes out with Golem. Look at this guy. 
it's all big and rocky and all that crud, but I got a level 75 uh, Dragonite, so let's just struggle just a tad bit with a little bit of flamethrower right here. And that doesn't take very much. So here he comes out with a rock slide. So, yep, I chose the wrong Pokemon for this one because Dragonite does not have a move that can actually beat this guy. So, let's go ahead and switch out to Dubasaur. It's our weakest Pokemon, but it will actually have a, uh, a type advantage against this guy right here. So, here we go. Dubasaur, what's up? It's been a while. And here comes another rock slide. And that takes a huge chunk out of our HP. So, so far, we're not doing so well. Let's go with the Mega Drain right here. Try and get some of that uh, HP, and as you can see, Golem is no more. Oh yeah, and we heal ourselves up pretty well right there too. That's always that's always a plus. Look at that, Dubasaur growing levels like crazy. Now he's gonna be coming out with an Omastar. So let's see, Omastar is a Water and Dark or Water and Rock type. So let's go with Thrasher right here, and yes, we do have the move that can actually defeat this guy. So, let's go ahead and switch out. Thrasher, what's up? It's been a while. And here he comes out with Omastar. And, well, it is weak to Earthquake, so let's go ahead and just use that Earthquake attack right here. So here we go, Earthquake for the win, and crud. This guy is still strong, and what is he doing? Oh, that's a Reflect, okay. No worries, here we go again with another Earthquake attack. And uh, look at that, Earthquake does the trick. Say goodbye to Omastar. Okay, alrighty. Look at that, Pokemon are kicking ass, taking names, and he's going to be coming out with an Aerodactyl, so... Hmm. I could go with uh, Leonardo right here, right? Yes, let's go with Leonardo. He does have the proper moves for this, so... Bring him out, get Aerodactyl here, feed him more. And I think this is his last Pokemon, I could be wrong. See, one, two, yeah, no, he's got another one. So let's go ahead and just use Ice Beam for this guy. And here he comes out with a Rock Slide. Oh yeah, I forgot, Aerodactyl is a little faster than us. So here we go, Ice Beam, almost does the trick. And well, Aerodactyl's not looking so happy right now. So let's finish this guy off, Hydro Pump. And look at that, we're missing. Look at that. Hydro Pump finishes him. Oh yes, Aerodactyl, no more. Okay, alrighty, so that was pretty cool. That was awesome. And well, let's see, he's gonna be coming out with a Kabutop, so... Let's see, one, two, three, everybody got a chance, including Dragonite. So let's go back to Dubasaur, since it is the Pokemon that can defeat this Kabutops here. I'm hoping it doesn't have a Bug-type move, though. Yeah, that's probably, that's one of the biggest issues right there. And, well, look at that. Coming out with the Kabutops. I always thought it was a cool Pokemon just because of the size it has. And, well, here comes the Rock Slide. And that, again, takes a huge chunk out of our HP. I always wanted to see a battle between Kabutops versus Scyther. That would have been an awesome battle right there. And, well, the Reflect has worn off. Let's go ahead and finish this guy off with the little pedal dance right here. So here comes again, another Rock Slide. Almost takes us out right there. So here we go. Pedal Dance for the win. Suck it, Kabutops. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. And Dubasaur grows to level 41. That's always awesome right there. And, well, Gym Leader Brock has been defeated again. He's like, I knew, I knew you were strong, but this... Yeah, and we get a buttload of money, so this right here is actually going to help us buy some more Pokeballs. I've chosen to postpone my dream of becoming a Pokemon breeder just for a little bit longer. Right now, I'm more interesting, uh, interested in training to grow strong enough to one day face and defeat you. Please, battle me every day so I can grow even stronger. Okay? So this is an everyday thing right here, guys. It's pretty cool. So, that is one guy down. Let's go ahead and go for the next person right here. And, of course, we already know who that person is. You know her. You love her. Ash Ketchum almost made her a girlfriend and all that stuff. And look at that. Oh, yeah. He wants. Yeah, you want to be with me, buddy. Okay, so let's go ahead and use that Sky Dash and go straight to Cerulean City to go face our girlfriend right here, Misty. Sorry, Ash, but I took care of her. I actually took her. So, here we are, Cerulean City in all its glory, and, well, let's see. 
She is going to have some uh, water type Pokemon, so Dubasaur might have to stay. Who do I have on my other team that could actually c uh, benefit from this? Uh, hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. We're going to put in Muta Uno over Thrasher. And let's see. You know what? Tank needs to, Tank needs to grow to level sixty. So. Let's go ahead and just uh, play a little bit with this one, and you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to take risk right here. I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to switch out a, uh, Hydra because, or Dragonite because, I kind of want to grow Aaliyah just a little bit. Okay, so we're going in this. We're going to do this, guys. We're going we're gonna to make something happen out right here. So here we are. In the Cerulean City Gym, as you remember, we defeated Misty a while back, and yeah, we made her uh, we made her remember us. So we're gonna take this Leah out, and she's gonna be surprised that we got two Pikachu's right here. Look at that, two Pikachu's, and well, let's see. It wouldn't be fair to just start out with uh, with Leah. So let's go ahead and start out with Tank. Let's see how that works out right here. Let's see. I heard an interesting rumor. Not only did you and the other kid defeat the, uh, those Team Rocket guys, but you also met again uh, in the battle for champion. Ugh. I just can't take it anymore. You've gotten so strong that I absolutely have to battle you again. You got that? No refusing. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty. So she, she, she wants this. So here we go. Gym battle again versus Misty. And she has five Pokemon herself. And yes, she's coming out with her Golduck right here. Look at this guy. All right, Tank. Time to get to level 60 right here. Looking all slow and blubbery and a big old husky and all that crud. Got myself some pretty good moves right here. So it is still a psychic type Pokemon, I'm hoping. So this girl is coming with a Scald attack. And, uh, well, we're going to go with a Crunch attack. Look at this. Well, not much, of a, not much of a change, but look at that. Its defense has fallen. So now there is an opening right there. Let's go right ahead and body slam this guy. And what is it doing? Oh crud, it's doing what? Uh, special moves, okay, so no problem. Right here, Body Slam. Nearly takes out Golduck, so let's go right ahead and do one more Body Slam just to finish this guy off. And uh, well, here comes a Scald Attack. And the Body Slam goes for the win. Look at that. Say goodbye to Golduck right there. And there's some experience points, and Aaliyah grows to level 34, which, you know, it's pretty cool. And here she's going to come out with Gyarados. Now, this is the Pokemon I've been waiting for, because i got to use Sparky for this one right here. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, let's go right ahead and do our business right here. So what's up, Sparky? It has been a while going up against Gyarados right here. And Gyarados is looking all mean at level 57, but guess what? I got myself Thunder, and it's going to take care of your little uh, water flying capabilities right here. Look at that. Bam. And, uh, well, it could be a clean sweep with this Pikachu right here. So, <laughs> oh yeah. It wouldn't be much uh, of a fight right there. So, look at that. Getting more experience points. And she will be coming out with a Starmie. So, let's go ahead and counter that with Mew de Uno right here. Alrighty. What's up, Pikachu? Go, Mew de Uno. Look at this guy. So here comes Starmie. Now, if you guys remember, we kind of had an issue with Starmie and just eh, a slight bit and all that crud. But guess what? We got Dark Pulse. This will actually take care of uh, Starmie right here. So here we go. Dark Pulse takes a good chunk out of its HP. And here comes a Hydro Pump. Ah, oh, crud. Eh, it didn't really do much. Okay, so... Let's try something risky. Let's go Mega Horn, even though Mewtwo Mew doesn't have a horn. And look at that. Say goodbye to Starmie. Oh yes. Oh yeah. We're 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 doing some uh, great stuff right here. And the light screen has worn out, so she will be coming out with a Vaporeon. And okay, we're gonna take that risk. Let's go, Aaliyah. And <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. That is not going to happen. So let's go with our Gyarados right here. Let's go with Hydra. We do have Thunderbolt, so it won't be much of an issue right here. So here we go. Hydra, what's up? And here comes her Vaporeon. 
Well, look at this Pokemon right here. It looks all majestic and stuff, but guess what? Too bad I'm gonna have to use Thunderbolt onto you. And look at that. It doesn't, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, crud. Okay, so we're kind of, uh, we're kind of, uh, we're gonna have to battle for our lives right here. Okay, so let's go again with another Thunderbolt. Probably should have thought, uh, thought ahead of, it, of, of this, you know, taught it thunder or something. Ah, oh, crud. And it is paralyzed. Okay, so, let's see, we avoided the attack. Yeah, we're just gonna be thunder, thunderbolting away right here. So here we go, Thunderbolt. And Vaporeon is paralyzed, so yes, that's right guys, we're using Strategy. Strategy. It's kind of like strategy, but it's strategy. So let's go a Thunderbolt right here. And there goes Vaporeon. I am happy. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And we get experience points. So now she's going to be coming out with a Dugong. I guess we should just finish it off with Sparky right here. It's probably the go-to thing, but I kind of wanted to use every single Pokemon right here, guys. Just, you, you can't blame me for that right there. So... Here we go, Pikachu looking like he's about to destroy someone right here. Look at this. Alright, let's do it. Thunderbolt, or Thunder, for the win. And look at that, big old lightning hits Dugong. And that is the end of that. Yeah, buddy. Look at that, okay. Dugong not feeling so good right there. And we're getting more experience points, and look at that. Misty, she's like, <laughs> how annoying! And we get a lot more money. So if you guys are, you know, hurting for change, battle the gym leaders. They will get stronger, but they will give you a buttload of money. I lost. I need to, I need to try swimming around for a bit so that I can clear my head of, uh, of these feelings. I definitely won't lose next time. Eh, don't worry about it. Because the next time, oh yeah, it's going to be worse. So much worse. Okay, so that right there is that. Our third battle is up ahead, but we gotta we gotta heal our Pokemon, guys. They've been through some uh, some shysta. Okay, so let's go ahead and heal these Pokemon right now. That's right, Pikachu. Get in that. Look at that. Everybody's getting healed. Alrighty. Okay, so two Pikachu's, a Snorlax, Gyarados, and all that stuff. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and, and head forward to Vermilion City right here. And, let's see, we're just waiting on the black screen, and there we go. Okay, so, alright, Pikachu, or Sparky, or whatever I like to call you. Where the heck? Oh, wow, he, wow, look at this guy. He's all happy and all that stuff. Okay, so, let's go right ahead and fly straight for... Let's go for Vermilion City right here. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. So there you are. And look at that. We are back in Vermilion City, and as you can see, there is a Master Trainer for a Farfetch'd. Yeah, that is not going to happen. I... <laughs> if you guys want my opinion on the whole Master Trainer thing, it's a good concept. It's just... It's, it's long. It is complicated and you really 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 have to put like your time and effort into these Pokemon right here My question is how in the hell are you gonna beat Kakuna and Metapod or Ditto for that instance? I'm just yeah that right there is just confusing so here we are in Vermilion City So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon switch out the weaknesses and put in the strengths right here So let's see Well, let's go ahead and get Smasher back into the game Let's go ahead and uh, trade them out for Leonardo right here. Sandslash needs a spot, so let's take out Mew de Uno. And Thrasher kind of needs to be in here, so let's switch out Leah. Okay. So that is right there, and now it is time to go back into the Vermilion City Gym. It was a little tough trying to find the key right here. I mean, I, I still can't believe they they kept the key into these boxes or these uh, trash cans. It was so friggin' annoying. So, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Lieutenant Surge, a.k.a. Guile from Street Fighter. He does have Electric-type Pokemon, so he is going to try and beat us with nothing but Electric-type moves. He might even throw a Water-type curve for just, just to mess with you. So, let's go ahead and talk to Guile right here. Hey, kid! Pretty shocking you made it through the Pokemon League. No doubt some Electric-type Pokemon had a pretty big hand in that, right? Alright then, how about you show me what kind of Pokemon you've raised? 
Okay, so here we go, guys. Another battle against Lieutenant Surge, aka Guile from Street Fighter. And yes, he does have five Pokemon, and he will be starting out with Electrode right here. Look at this guy, all strong and everything. But guess what? I got myself Thrasher. Now, the only problem is Electrode is faster, so. Gotta beat him quick. Gotta beat him strong. And here. Wow. Explosion. Wow. Okay, so. We get hit hard. Thrasher didn't even have to do anything. And, uh, yeah, that's the end of that chapter right there. Okay. Alright. And no earthquake right there. So he's about to send out Electabuzz. Let's go ahead and switch out to a Smasher right here. Again, the Nidos are like my favorite Pokemon because, shoot, they can learn just about anything. Different typings, good stats, just a all good all-around Pokemon right there. So now, Smasher, let's do her thing. Let's finish this guy off with an, uh, a, a Drill Run right here. Look at this. Drill Run does its trick. Say goodbye to Electabuzz. Yeah, buddy. Electabuzz is no more. I'm happy. And here he comes out with a Magneton. Let's see. Huh. Hold on just a sec. Oh, wait. I got the ban for the job. Let's go with Tank right here. It does have Super Power right here. Okay. What's up? What's up? And... Well, let's see. Let's see. Magneton looking strong. But guess what? I got the Super Power technique. And he will be coming with a Thunder, and, oh crud. It's a little karma right here for hitting all those other Pokemon with uh, Thunder, but here we go, Super Power. Almost does it, and, oh crud. Lowers our attack just a little bit. So, let's go ahead and do one more Super Power, and, oh crud. Here we go. Thunder does the trick. And, well, here we go. Super Power. Finishes this guy off, and yes, more stats are falling down, but guess what? We don't need any more. We just defeated this guy, and we get more experience points, and now he's about to come out with Raichu. Okay. Let's go with Sandslash. Sandslash, alrighty. Sandslash is ready to go. Now, kind of thinking, now that I'm thinking about this, uh, is it still legal to use a lowland sla sand slash versus a regular sand slash because if it's not then i may have to change that plan i don't know so here we go let's go with the dig attack we're brewing a burrowing away and oh yeah he was about to come with a brick break but guess what we're gonna deflect that and we're gonna go straight for the dig sweep the leg man just sweep the leg there goes riot you down for the count okay all righty and, well, let's see. He's coming out with a Jolteon. I guess we can go with Thrasher again. I mean, technically, he didn't do anything except just stand there and take a, a big old explosion. So, here we go. Thrasher coming back for another battle. And here comes Elect or Jolteon. All right, Jolteon. You're looking all mean, but guess what? I got Earthquake. And, yeah, he's... Oh, yeah, he's going to be using some Deflect or Reflect, so... Not too, uh, not too, uh, shabby right there. And this Earthquake does not finish this guy off. So let's go right ahead and do... Let's go with a Sludge Bomb. Let's change it up a little. And here comes a Shadow Ball. Oh, okay, alright. I see what, you, what you're doing. But here we go. Sludge Bomb is your master. Say goodbye to Jolteon. Alrighty, okay. And there, there we go again. More money. Absolutely shocking. Yes, sir. Looks like there's uh, still a gap between our skill levels. I need to close, kid. This is the first time I felt like this since I first arrived here in Kanto. Come back tomorrow. Okay. Alrighty. So it looks like they, you know, this is another source of, you know, to train your Pokemon right here. I am definitely going to be using, or I'm definitely going to be battling the uh, the gym leaders a little bit more just, just to get more money. I mean, like, like I said, well, like as we already know. In Pokemon Let's Go, it's not about the battles that you battle, it's the capturing. You capture as many Pokemon as possible, and bam, you're going to level up like crazy. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go straight to, uh, what was it, Celadon City. And look at that, Pikachu's trying to get attention, so... Okay, let's go ahead and just give you some attention, buddy. I'm sorry. 
You did a good job, even though you didn't do anything. There we go. Belly rub, belly rub. Belly rub, come on. There we go, and let's go right in. Let's see, let's go with the, this one, since we have plenty of these. And Pikachu is now happy. And, ugh, crud, probably should have just used the air thing. Okay, so let's go with Secret Techniques, and let's go straight to Sell It On City. Let's go right here. Now, we're going to go in order right here, guys, so not to worry. Still doing my thing. Defeating every gym leader because we can. And, well, here we are, Sell It On City. No more Team Rocket. And if you guys remember, we took on Erica right here, especially Team Rocket. And, let's see, this guy we already got a Pokemon from. There is a... Grimer Master Trainer right there, and well, let's see. There might be other trainers right here, too So let's go right ahead open this up and chop it down It's been a while since we actually got to use the chop down technique and Huh, she's got a ratatou right there. So we're running. We're running. We're sprinting and there is a victory bell master trainer and the old little pervert is still there and I haven't seen her in quite a bit. My Jigglypuff has an adamant nature. It's easy to raise its attack stat, but not easy to raise its special attack. Its double slap is a real slap in the face. Eh, thank you for letting me know. Yeah, this guy is just still creeping right there. So, let's see. Going up against Erica again. I think you guys already know where we're going to go with this. We're going to be switching it up a little bit more since we do have some pretty good Pokemon right here. Let's go ahead and switch out... Uh, Thrasher and let's put in Mew de Uno now to Smasher and then our good old buddy Godzilla Godzilla is going to take Hydra's place and you know what let's go right ahead and use Ultra Psycho man Ultra Psycho is going to be a very good Pokemon to actually use so look at that we got a good team going and well we're just gonna have to go through this maze again oh, crud so let's see we can't ju we can't just jump right there. Now in the real world we would have jumped and avoided all these trainers, but yeah, that's not how the Pokemon world goes. Let's go ahead and cut this one. And there we go, Pikachu doing his trick and that is the wrong way. So let's go right up top right here. Now when did I battle Erica? I think it was like last month in September. Yeah, last month in September we did have an easy time and I think this is right around the time where we got our yeah this is where we switched off with Growlithe and, Ar and Arcanine or yeah Growlithe and Sandslash because we can actually get ourselves an Alolan uh, Sandshrew around here and as most of you guys already know Alolan Sandshrew steel and ice type Pokemon so let's go right ahead and avoid all these girls right here because again cooties we do not like cooties and let's see not right there where the hell are you okay right here and there we go we're opening up and let's see let's go right ahead and find that gym leader oh, crud another one okay so let's see ah oh, crud it's right here all right here we go Maximum effort. And there we go. So let's go right ahead and continue finding this gym leader. Seriously, did you have to make it this long? Oh, God. Okay, just for that. That is the real G right there. Okay, so what's up, girl? Oh, if it isn't one of the... Isn't the one who's been trying to fill his Pokedex. I do hope things have been going well for you since our last encounter. I see. You certainly have been busy. I'm not particularly fond of those kinds of public things. However, battles are different. That's what you came here for, is it? That's right. So, here we go again, guys. Our battle against another girlfriend, Erica. Oh, yeah, she's looking all fine and dandy. And here she's going to be coming out with Tangela. Okay. All right, Tangela. Let's, uh, let's finish this. Let's finish this Tango right here. You are probably a grass-type Pokemon, so... Ah, psychic attack. I don't really care. I really, really don't care. He's, he's just gonna destroy her. Look at this. Just like that. He's just gonna destroy her. Look at this. Just like that. Now, if I could, I could just go with uh, Alakazam the whole entire time. 
And here she's going to be coming out with a Parasect. So, let's go with Sand Slash. Double the defense right here. And, well, let's see. Look at that. We got another one. And Parasect is just, you know, being, being itself right there. Okay, so Parasect, guess what? We're going to go with an Ice Punch because that seems to be the right move to do. And look at that. Super effective. Parasect defeated. Oh, yes. And if you guys have been wondering, yes, uh, Sand Slash is the same level as Pikachu. Mainly because it's a traded Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, it got, it got up in levels pretty quickly. Very, very quickly. So we're going to be switching out Sand Slash. Let's go right ahead and go straight to our good old buddy right here, Dragonite. And here we go with an Executor. Let's go with Wing Attack. I do have Flamethrower just in case right here, so Wing Attack does its trick. Man, these Grass-type Pokemon are no challenge right now. Alrighty, so that's that. So who's next? Vileplume? Okay, Vileplume going up against... Let's go with Mew de Uno right here. I know what you guys are thinking. He's just saving Charizard for the grand finale. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. You guys know how much I love my Charizard right here. So here comes Vileplume. And, well, let's see. Do I have a move? Yes, I do. Let's go with Megahorn. Oh, yes. Look at that. Megahorn takes almost half his HP. And, yes, we mi they miss. So let's go ahead and use a Psychic for the finisher. It's just, it's just unfair that I have a Mew. Well, I'm not the only one that has me, but guess what? We got it from a Pokeball right there. And look at that. Mew de Uno does its thing. And... Well, let's see. Alrighty. So, he's going to be... Or, she's going to be coming out with her final Pokemon right here. So, let's go with Godzilla. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and just switch him out right now. Alrighty. Bring it. Now, the only reason why Godzilla right here has Solar Beam is because I actually thought that the effects from uh, its Mega Evolution would transpire right here, but, you know, poor me, didn't remember that there's no effects in this game, so, you know what? Let's go with an X Evolution right here and finish this girl off with Flame or Flare Blast or Flare Blitz or whatever. So here we go. Digivolution activated. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And here comes the Flare Blitz for the win. Just unfair. Just unfair. Look at that. Victory Bell just didn't stand a chance. And there was a recoil. And there we go. More money for us. Oh, it appears that lot. It appears it is my loss. And she's smiling still. She's still a nice girl. Simply marvelous. It was an effort worthy at, at least uh, 10 rainbow badges. Okay, alrighty. She said 10 rainbow badges. That usually means you're damn good. Okay, so that was four trainers right there, guys. I'm thinking another episode with gym leaders. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to take a slight break. And we're going to recharge. And after that, we're going to come out with another episode of the gym leader battles. We got the last four remaining gym leaders right here. Remember, you can battle these gym leaders every single day just to build up the revenue and just to, you know, get some more experience points for your Pokemon. And, well, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Other than that, after the gym leader battles, I think we're going to be doing something else too. So, yeah, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we're going to go for part two of this gym leader rematch battles and stuff. And then from there, we'll see what else happens. So, thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.